Yes, Sharon's worst nightmare has come true, as Susan Walters, Diane, husband, Lyndon Ashby, made his big return to the young and the restless as Cameron Kirsten on Friday, May 26, after tormenting Sharon just a bit more, of course. Sharon finally put it all together after receiving a postcard from Denver, Colorado, where she and Cameron first met with, where heaven's a little closer written on it. That, plus the champagne bottle and blood, led her right to her terrifying ex. And by the end of the episode, Cameron himself was checking into the GCAC. It was a remarkably quick return as fans began to speculate he'd be back just the week before after the Thursday, May 18 episode. Sharon received a mysterious gift, a bottle of champagne with a note attached that read, Memories are what life is made of. Sharon had been babysitting her granddaughter Aria when the special delivery arrived, and as she talked to the baby about the bottle being filled with the good stuff, someone watched her through the window of crimson lights as creepy music played in the background. The champagne bottle alone had everyone suspecting that the gift had been from Cameron, considering Sharon thought she had killed him back in 2004 by smashing a bottle just like it over his head. Cameron and Sharon first met in a Denver bar in 2003 after she fled Genoa City, following a kiss with Victor. Cameron immediately became infatuated with her, and they made love that same night. However, he quickly turned violent by beating her and trying to suffocate Sharon with a pillow. Once he passed out, Sharon escaped and returned home. However, a year later, Cameron turned up in Geno City as a businessman, who was making a deal with Newman Enterprises, specifically Nick, who happened to be married to Sharon at the time. He taunted Sharon into meeting him at a motel where again, he beat her once more and threw her onto the bed. But Sharon fought him off and was able to grab a champagne bottle then hit him over the head. Believing he was dead, Sharon put his body in an alley and later Larry Warden hid it in a sewer. But Cameron wasn't dead. With the help of Grace, he faked his death and had his body replaced with Frank Barrett, Cassie's biological father, then haunted Sharon and later revealed he was alive. Sharon was forced to confess the series of events to Nick, but more drama followed. She had been the prime suspect in Frank's murder, and after agreeing to go away with Cameron, in order to escape the charges, Nick followed them onto the jet. After Sharon attempted to kill herself by jumping from the aircraft, Nick strapped a parachute on Cameron and pushed him out then he and Sharon followed suit, and they all landed in a cornfield. In the end the authorities believed Sharon's story and Cameron was arrested and hauled off to prison. That was the last time he was seen, until now. Whether he's back for more torment or could it be, redemption, we can't wait to watch what kind of mayhem Ashby's character is going to cause now that he's in Geno City once again.